Hey, good morning. It is Sunday, September 11th, and I made it through the night barely because, wow, it is freezing. It's um, almost 9 o'clock, and my toes and fingers are numb right now, so I got to get moving. Uh, I'm going to do about 14 miles today. Um, I need to put the camera up and put that glove on because, wow, it is painful. But it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Great campsite. Let's get out of here. Well, I'm starting to enter the Copper Mountain Resort area. I'm pretty sure that mountain right over there is the one we're crossing today. <clears throat> and that's I-70 down there. I could actually hear a little bit of traffic last night from the campsite. So I knew it was pretty close. And I'm really just standing here in the sun for a minute because, man, my fingers are still numb. Check out this coaster here. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't remember that being here last time. Wow. That looks fun. <laughs> I have to come back and do that sometime. I think this squirrel has had enough. He's about to jump. Don't do it, squirrel. There's a lot to live for. There you go. <laughs> He's going to be all right. Well, I made it through the Copper Mountain area and I'm down here near 10 mile creek and we're going up there looks like it's about 4.7 miles with a 2700 something foot elevation gain so it's going to be you know a little bit of a challenge but i am not 100 percent sure but i believe this is the last super hard climb but I'm probably wrong, so... Well, it's been a little while since I checked in. All we've been doing is climbing up through the trees. You can see the road down there. We were down there when we crossed that 10 mile creek. And I'm taking a pretty good bite out of it but we got a little ways to go so I'm gonna keep heading on I'm looking back down on Copper Mountain getting way out of the trees now getting some beautiful views up here of course I'm gonna try to catch them before we get to the top Beautiful. All right, let's keep going. After all that climbing, we're still here by Copper Mountain Resort. And I believe this tops out at 12,489. I know it's just right under 12.5. So, a little more climbing to do. First look over the ridge. Brecken Ridge is down there. Frisco will be up that way. Excellent. We still have a little ways to go to get to the top though. Up there. I'm gonna see if I can get a 360 of this. Just kind of waiting them out. Well, we 
wouldn't let me go around him so I went way out there and through this rock field because he's just standing there so I'm not walking behind him I just turned the corner back there and look at this valley that I'm coming into incredible Look at all the devastation through here. Sad. I remember this from last year being like this, so it's about the same. Still really beautiful out there. Well, it's coming up on 6.30 and I'm down here at this little creek getting some water. Show you where I'm set up. In fact, this is the exact same spot where I was last year before I went into Frisco. Seemed like a good place to stop. It's four miles from the road. Trail's just right there. Of course, water. Very convenient. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to hang out here for the night. And we will be in Frisco tomorrow. And then we will have a full day off after that. And then we are going to hit it hard. And we're going to head to Denver. But thanks for hanging out with me today. And on this whole trip. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs>